To our GMA cover story, a new twist in the YouTube feud capturing millions of kids' attention between beauty influencers James Charles and Tati Westbrook. Now they're both signaling that they're ready to turn the page. That would be wonderful. Amy, yes. you're back with this. You know, I was just here with Game of Thrones, right? But I got to tell you, this war of influencers has been vicious, even in the videos that are supposed to be apologetic. But now it does appear they may be calling a truce. It's you the he said, she said feud that reached a boiling point on YouTube between two enormously popular makeup gurus, James Charles and Tati Westbrook. Charles with a reported net worth of $12 million, millions of teen and tween subscribers watching his every video, roaring crowds screaming his name, the first male ambassador for CoverGirl. Westbrook, a fellow beauty vlogger who was also his mentor. I think that you're in a lot of trouble and you need to stop behaving this way. She did exactly what she told me someone else may, which was tell my story with no details, no facts, and no proof, and twist it around. And now serious allegations have surfaced that could permanently damage my career. And this morning it may be over after 19-year-old Charles spoke out over the weekend, defending himself in an emotional 41-minute long video titled No More Lies. My head and brain for a, a hot minute went to a place so dark that I didn't think that I was going to come back from. The video coming on the heels of Westbrook's own. I'm crushed because this person was family to me. Where she accused Charles of betraying her after he promoted a rival beauty vitamin as well as alleging he sexually harassed straight men, something Charles denies. I have never and would never and will never use my fame money or power to manipulate or get any sexual actions from a guy. That is disgusting. It is not me. Both of these beauty vloggers have a mainly Gen Z audience. Gen Z likes to feel emotionally and morally connected to the brands that they buy. The fallout from Westbrook's initial video was swift. Charles' YouTube subscribers plummeting in real time as fans, who are mostly tweens, chose sides. In all, Charles losing over 3 million subscribers, while Westbrook gained over 4.5 million. Joining in on bandwagon hate and cancel culture is incredibly, incredibly toxic. James lost so many subscribers in just one day. It really is telling that people are very hungry for the content that YouTubers are making and they are very willing to believe everything that they say um, and act accordingly. But after an initial apology from Charles last week, Westbrook trying on a new forgiving shade. Yes, I'm hurting, but so is James. It's so is our community. I don't think his career is over. I don't think he's canceled. And now, from mentor to mentee, setting their differences aside, Tati posting this on Twitter with a broken heart emoji just hours ago. I felt the need to publicly break up with James with a warning call loud enough for him to hear. The toxicity and chaos that ensued over the last 10 days was absolutely not my goal. Now, both James Charles and Tati Westbrook say they are taking a break from recording new videos for their respective channels, and it appears that Tati has now deleted the video that started all of this. I have Gen Zers at home, and they were definitely glued to this latest episode. Gen Zers are passionate. Yes, they yeah. are. All right, Amy, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.